pagans are hiding I can't sleep if they're smiling Baby, your man is insecure, that's why he's hyping But you already buying the scotch timing And I've been living what I'm dreaming Baby, I don't go sleep I don't follow anybody, baby, I ain't no sheep Show. I'm ZZ Mills, obviously. And today we have a special guest in the building. He goes by the name of Lotto Ash. I don't know why this um, American <laughs> accent is coming from, but we're just going. Maybe I should do it in a Brom accent. Mm. Today we have. Today. Wait, wait a minute. Today. No, wait, come from Birmingham. Birmingham. Wait. Today we got Lotto Ash in here. Is that, that Was that good? Cool. Lotto Ash. That was good. That was alright. That sounds a bit Liverpudian, actually. Like Scouse. Scouse. Okay, cool. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? We, I'm alright, you know. It's hot today. Um, I'm not going to ask you why you've got a jumper on. Today's 33 degrees and Ash decided to come in. I get it. Fashion, you have to do it. Off-white. Yeah, I, I was get not it. thinking. I understand. And now I'm dying. I, honestly, for men, like, I feel <laughs> sorry for you in the summer because it's just like, you can't win. Do you wear, do you wear like Birkenstocks? Do you get your toes out? Um, n no. No, why I don't, not? You know. it, that's what I'm saying. Like, the, the beauty of being a woman is I get to wear like open toe shoes, yeah, 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 my yeah, legs yeah. are out. But I feel like there's a thing with men in the summer yeah. and open toed shoes. Why, why don't you let the, the, the toe, the, the, them free? Like, just let them be a team. You know what? Before I started like getting my, like, my toes done and that. You get your toes done? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that's what I'm saying. Why are you not getting yeah. them out? See, now I'm okay, but obviously it's been a bit cold prior to today. I don't know what happened today. So, so what do you do? Like, get a whole like pedicure thing going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you get like, do you put clear nail varnish or not? Oh, no, nah, no nail varnish. Oh, okay. I just step out nice. As long as it's like done. Does it look good? Do you like feet on women? Um, I appreciate a good foot. Would you put feet in your mouth? <laughs> I don't think so. Would you rub feet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I like my feet to be rubbed. Not that I'm asking you to rub my feet, but oh, I'm yeah. saying I like my feet to... <laughs> I like my feet to be rubbed. Uh -huh. I was talking to one guy and he said he didn't like feet and I was a bit like, oh, this is, could be a red flag. Was you talking, talking to him? Was that like... Something? It was like beginning stages and he said he did feet wasn't that, his thing. And that put you off your foot, right? Because I like my feet, because all the other guys I've been with, like, mm -hmm. they're obsessed with my feet. Like, I used to have <laughs> one guy and... I'd be having a conversation with him and my feet would be over his lap and he would just look at my feet and not my face. And he just would constantly just look at my feet and be like, yeah, yeah. And then, I used, then, I used, then I used to have another ex and he, um, he bought me like, he bought me Ugg slippers because he was so um, conscious of my feet not getting ruined and walking around my house with barefoot. Because I'm not really a slipper girl, I, I don't mind walking around barefoot my house. And he uh -huh. would just be like, no, you need to protect your feet. Because I'm, I'm going to want to like put them in my mouth later. And I'd oh, be like, yeah, yeah I understand. <laughs> <laughs> fair play, fair play. So I'm, I, like, I like men that appreciate feet because I take mm -hmm. good care of my feet. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate a good foot. Okay, brilliant. That's one thing ticked off the list. How, how what about, um, no, no, we won't go there. Actually, since we're on the subject of... Think, what's, what's the lady saying? The ladies, I've got a lady. Ooh, moment, so nice, nice. Do you caress her feet at night? Um, I'll give her a foot massage, a little massage. Are you pleasing her? I would like to hope so. I hope you are. Are you like drinking from so. the fountain of youth regularly? Pardon? Are you drinking from the fountain of youth regularly? Oh, no, no, no. Celibacy is uh, what I'm, I'm, I'm on right now, so. You're, seriously? Yeah, yeah, serious. I know you probably think I'm joking, but nah, it's dead serious. Oh, you're not having sex? Nah. Oh, why not? Tell me, this is interesting. Obviously, this is this is based on obviously um, my my faith in it. So, oh, okay. Yeah, Are you I'm, I'm a Christian? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Nice. Nice. So at the moment, I'm trying to take it seriously. I feel okay. like I feel like yeah. I'm gonna. I'm trying to read. So how? Because I used to be a, like a strong Christian. Mm -hmm. Um, not so much anymore. I'm probably like, I used to be Antarctica, but I feel like I could be coming. But it's bad to be lukewarm, so I don't want to be lukewarm. Yeah, I you know? you. So I the Bible says you shouldn't be lukewarm. It's either That's you're right. cold or you're hot. Like, get it together. Yeah, true, That's true, basically true. what God says. But I used to, um, like, I lost, I lost my virginity. I don't even have got to this subject, but I do. I lost my virginity, like, later on in life when I was about 21, I think, mm -hmm. because I was, I used to go church a lot and I really wanted to wait till I was married. Yeah. And I, that was something that I really, really wanted to do. It didn't happen. Um, but 
how, how is that though? Like, how is it being a Christian um, and being, I guess, in this kind of like secular world when it comes to music? Like, is your new EP gonna reflect your like Christianity and your, and your, your relationship with God? I'm more of like, my lifestyle should reflect it kind of thing. So okay. that's why like, you can hear a song and I, could, I can put a, whatever image I want out on music and say, oh, I'm a Christian, this and then I'm mm -hmm. not actually doing anything right, in right, the right. background. I'm not doing it for people and if, effectively I'm doing it for God. So okay. I don't believe in like, I will show you exactly who I am and right. I'll say, yo, this is what I'm going through. This is where I'm at. Yeah, I'm still singing about this, 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 this. But I'm really, this, this is what I believe in and I'm searching for something to get me and I'm heading that way, so. So, you, the EP, you, told, you said it's number seven. Yeah. Is that got to do Christianity? Kind of, Because yeah. seven like supposed to be quite a prolific yeah. number in, it's in like Christianity. It's like completion. Yeah, see, yeah. see, see. So, is that why you call yeah. it seven? Yeah, so at, at the moment I feel as if that seven for me was, um, it's, one, it's my favourite number. Okay, cool. And it happened that um, the release date kind of would have fell on the 7th and okay, or the, right. well, the month of the 7th kind mm -hmm. of thing and when what the number actually means um, to me is like obviously completion right um, also just like it's about to take that next step so it's like the finished product of something right, okay. moving on to the next so obviously this next EP will be like it will be me saying okay this is this is the this is this is for you guys. All right, okay. After this, you're gonna really see. It's like a warm up, effectively. Okay, right, right, so right, right. And and yeah. how talk talk to me because obviously, mm -hmm. how we first met you, you was a lot of boys. Yeah, yeah. And now obviously that's not the case. Mm -hmm. What 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 what's, what happened with all of that? Is are you guys still cool? What like what? Why did it go? Why did you guys go your separate ways? Um, in all honesty, no one was happy. What, in the group? Yeah. Okay. So no one was happy, but no one was talking about it because we were getting paid. Right, you right, get what right. I'm saying? So, um, yeah. Talk to, so were, were you guys friends before or was you like put together? Or how did it, for the people that don't know, how did it all what? like come about? How did the group actually like um, form? So what happened was I, I went to a youth club that um, Luke was at as well. Okay, so cool. um, he, was, um, he was going to the youth club with people from his school. I kind of came there by myself through one girl that I was chatting to that went to his school. Oh, right. Big up the girl that. Yeah, big up, big up, <laughs> big up time. <laughs> yeah, so um, I started going to the youth club and it was a song and then he was like, yo, you want to jump on the tree? And I was like, yeah, cool, why not? Mm. Um, and I, I don't know, our friendship was mad. It was like, I felt like we were friends, but then at the same time, I felt like we, it, was it was fate a, almost. Right. Do you get what I mean? And it kind of showed like, when you kind of remove music, yeah, it's yeah, like, because yeah. um, our friendship got built through music. Right, right, when right. the music wasn't there, it's like... There wasn't nothing happening. Yeah, not really. Right, He's right, still a yeah. good guy though, don't yeah, get yeah, 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 But yeah. I think as for both of us together, it was like, there was always something. So, so there, when, yeah. what, would you, what, would you, what would you say the song that changed your life for you? What was it where you was like, okay, now people, mm. have you always also wanted to do music as well? Or was it kind of like, it kind of just happened, you was good at it, it made sense, and then you kind of ran with it, or was it always a passion of yours? Um, I think it was always a passion of mine, mm. to be honest. I think when, what happened was when I was in school, I stopped playing football and when they opened the studios in school and I was in there 24-7. Right, okay, right, right. Do you know what I mean? And I enjoyed it. I was, uh, funny enough, I was the worst out of everybody. Like, right, there was right. a whole list of rappers. and Because uh, I never used to sing in it, so right, I used right, to be a rapper. Yeah, I used yeah, to do yeah. grime, mm -hmm. believe it or not. And um, my name, obviously, was Ash Kid with two eyes. Makes but, sense, obviously. Yeah. So, Always have to have the kid there. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I had, like, Miss Kid. I used to call myself Miss Kid back in the day. Are you serious? Yeah, Miss Kid. Now you, ma ma now you mentioned it. It was Miss Kid and I used to do it with the two eyes. The two eyes. <laughs> I did. I literally used to call myself Miss Kid. And I called myself Miss Kid because I was always quite playful and jokey. Okay, and okay. everyone used to say I was like a kid. So I just said I was going to call Miss myself kid. Miss Kid. I should have so, kept that name. You should have Maybe the show would have been called Miss Kid Show. I feel that would have been a bit Or Kiddy. Oh, that's what That would have been... Oh, God, see. Anyway, go back. Go on. So obviously, um, I, um, I then continued to just keep going in the studio. Mm -hmm. I knew I was rubbish, but I just carried on anyway. Right, and right, I right. just thought, I just loved it. Mm -hmm. um, 
So when I was going to the youth club now, that was when I left school. And at this point, I've kind of developed a bit. Yeah. I started to understand music and like lyrics and stuff a lot more. Yeah. Um, so when me and Luke went into the youth club, um, Adam Brooks and Matt Brooks, um, they was like, yo, you should do a show okay. together. Right. So we called it Ash and Lucas. So right. our group before Lot of Boys, there was no Lot of Boys. There was Ash and Lucas. Okay. Do you know what I mean? And through that, it kind of took us to saying, yo, we sold out this show. Um, it was the 300 room at um, uh, uh, O2 Academy. Oh, okay. Um, like Islington O2 Academy, that type of. Yeah, it was, it was like, like, yeah, like yeah, a smaller yeah, compact yeah, one. Yeah. So we did the 300 room. Yeah. And it sold out. And that was like, for me, it was like the, at that point, I felt so appreciated. Right, okay. And I feel like that's what kind of hooked me to it. I felt right, like, yo, okay. here I feel like someone. Because mm-hmm. before that, nobody knew me. No one was really checking for me like that. Yeah. But now everyone's like kind of checking for me, so I kind of cling to it mm. because of the attention, which right. kind of is bad. Right. So later on now, um, uh, we kind of fizzled out. Ash and Lucas fizzled out. Um, we were just working in the studio. So I, just start, I worked in the studio at the youth club okay, right. while I was going to college um, at the same time. So when I started uni, I then continued to go there and still work there whilst I was still working at House of Fraser. I was trying to do the free. Right. And... Um, so there, nothing was really happening. Um, we took a trip to Liverpool one day yeah. and every, somebody said, are oh, you guys looking at the lottery? Like, so that's how a lot of boys actually got for. Okay, nice, nice, Yeah, nice. It, it's not a great, mad story. But Somebody, like, no, but the person that came up with the lottery boys, did you give them their pee? Yeah, so <laughs> what happened, it, it, was, it was a collective thing. So the lot of boys kind of got, it was like everyone kind of was speaking about it. Right, okay. And, um, one of my friends, Lordy, he made um, like a um, little logo right. for the Snapchat and then we just used it. People would start gripping onto it. So now everyone's like, yo, lot of boys are this, lot of boys are that. So I was like, yo, I'm going to go in studio yeah. and make a lot of boys anthem. Mm-hmm. So then we made this lot of boys anthem and through that, we uh, met our manager, um, uh, Math okay. at the time. Okay, cool. So he's the one that kind of took it to the next level kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, 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 he really p- pieced us like together. So he put us in his house, we were living all together. And then obviously everything was accelerating. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So it was doing great, don't yeah. get twisted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just weren't happy. So then, when, cause, was it like around 2017? Two, yeah. 2017, two, no done drops, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that, you've been around for a decent amount of time, right? Well, because we're like 2022 20, now. So that's a good like, six by five six years you've been kind of so what's it been like for you because obviously you had that like burst and then from my understanding you went kind of quiet and then if it was because you just mentioned that you enjoyed the the feeling of being loved so in that time where maybe you didn't have that same amount of attention how did that how was how was that for you like as an individual did did you struggle with that because Um, i think mm. I feel like in this industry, even if you're not, if you're not like in the blogs or yeah. you're like not circulating, people assume you've either fallen off or you're not the person who, oh yeah, their man have fallen off, they're not who they used to be. But what, what does that kind of feel like, that, that pressure? Um, it feels like very lonely. Yeah. I think it kind of puts me in a place where I'm like, yo, it makes me sit in a room with myself, mm. with no one giving me attention, none of this fake stuff that, um, that I cling on to. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, at that point I realized I didn't know who I was. Right, okay. And that's why I'm like, I've got identity crisis. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? Right. At, the, at that point I didn't realize it though, now I can talk about it. Yeah, 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 but yeah. back then I was, I was just always felt upset and I had like this temper that wasn't, mm. it was abnormal the yeah, way I used yeah, to yeah. get angry, like I shouldn't have, do you know what I mean? Do you think it's abnormal the, um, how quickly things happen though? Do you get what I mean? So you yeah. you came out and then it was kind of like boom, like lot of boys, this single, that single, da 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 da, and then it, does it does it feel abnormal like when it's happening? It felt abnormal, but like after all of the times I used to be in studio, it wasn't like on it, for me it wasn't like mad undeserved. Oh, okay, I get so it. I used to be in studio a lot by my, my by myself because mm-hmm. that's that was just my that's my that was my that was my home. Right, right, I get what you mean. It used to be me and Amos at Lighthouse, mm-hmm. which was a youth club in Birmingham. Um, study youth club in Birmingham, um, and then we used to, we went to Aston Cross, which Transformation Centre, and we was just 
circulate in whatever studio was free right, right, <laughs> that right, we yeah, could yeah, use. Yeah. We're not earning money, so yeah. do you know what I mean? Um, so we had to make the beats ourselves, and at that point, it was like, yo, this the amount of practice hours that was actually put in, when it actually came out, it didn't feel too abnormal. Right, okay. But to sight, it felt abnormal. Right, okay. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. What's, the, what's like the weirdest experience you've had in this whole journey? Like good or bad? Like, you know those moments when you're like, what the fuck? How does this, like, when did this happen? Like, how did this even happen? Or like, I, I didn't think this would ever happen. What, what would you say that would be? Within Lotto Boys or outside? Both, both. Like you as a solo okay. artist now in Lotto Boys or yeah, like how, what was it? What, what would um, you say? I think, okay, in Lotto Boys, the, the maddest thing was, um, it was like the multitude of shows. Right, okay. So we had a multitude of shows back to back, back to back, back to back. And it was the craziest experience that I've had in my life because I'm like, I'm not used to, number one, not sleeping a right, lot. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm not used to like traveling around these places and yeah, being yeah. away from home. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. get what I mean? So at that point, that's when I started to like grip onto people because I'm trying to find myself in right, yeah, everything yeah. that's going on around me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then obviously that's why when everything's gone, it's like you really see what's really going on. Do you know what I mean? Do you think so. it's, do you, when you, like, because you've experienced, do you see why people kind of like get lost? Like the, a lot of mm. the young boys, they, you know, they, they're upset or they, they, they're sad or they, they, like you said, they don't know who they are. Or even like the young, like a lot of young people actually within the industry or even older, but like, to be fair, the industry just produces a lot of like fucked people because, <laughs> because we're all kind of just like you said, yeah. even like it, personalities as well. We're all kind of like in it mm. and then we're all in this bubble. And um, I see the more, like the more I get deeper in it, I'm like, yeah, you can easily like get lost in this yeah. whole thing and you kind of, like you all, I'm always in the back of my mind, I'm always like, it can always come to an end, it can always come to an end. And I don't mm. even know if that's healthy as well, because you're co constantly like living on the edge of like, what's yeah. gonna happen next? What's gonna happen next? Is, do you, did you have, you have that kind of like similar feeling? And I guess for you as well, isn't it a little, is it more scary because you're now on your own? Yeah, I would say though, it's more scary, but like, I wouldn't trade it for anything because right. the peace I feel is different. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Because when it's on your own back, it's like, I, c I can fail knowing that. Yeah. I can try and pick myself back up and mm -hmm. no one's going to affect off me failing. Do you yeah, get what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Um, so, but, but when I was obviously in Lotto Boys, like, the pressures of stuff, especially like getting full, I got full of myself, I'll be honest. Right. Okay. Like, I was full of myself. And it's because people compliment me so much yeah. and I wasn't I went used to it. Yeah, yeah, so I went yeah. used to like someone saying, oh, yo, you look fire. I'm like, fire? Like, what? These times I started walking differently. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's telling me I look fire, I'm like, fire. And it's starting to gas me in a way that, because I don't know who I am, I'm cleaving onto the people are, that are yeah. telling me this. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I swear down. And then it kind of got to me when obviously people was like, yo, you're the coldest, you're the coldest, you're the coldest. Mm. And then I started overthinking right. when I got into studio and it went to absolute I've heard that a lot though. I've heard like, you know, when you kind of, when you're found, like somebody finds you and you have the sound already and then yeah. you put that single out and it does really well. And then the next thing, you know, you're going back to the studio and you're like overthinking everything because they want you to produce another one of whatever you produced yeah. before. But you're like, why are you telling me what to do? Because you wasn't here before and I was doing really okay without your advice. And I've heard that. Um, a, a lot from like younger artists as well oh, that have kind of gone like that um, and then they're struggling to find that thing again but because yeah. they're over overthinking it yeah I, I think so therefore because I think with the labels especially yeah that's because what, it's, yeah, a, yeah, it's yeah. a machine that mm. that works without emotion right yeah do you get what I mean so no one's catering for how the hell you're feeling when you get back to the studio yeah no one's really thinking like yo well, in my old label anyway, no one's really thinking, yo, how's your mental health? Or yeah. Until you start seeing the evidence yeah, of yeah, yeah. people falling off or people feeling away or people acting out. And it's like, where did this come from? It actually come from pressure from these. Like, so, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So once I was getting back into studio, I kind of thought to myself, I overthought so much. I made, because people would say to me, oh, yo, you don't make a bad song. You just haven't heard it. <laughs> If I start playing the tunes that I all thought about, uh, I released one 
I'll be honest, I released one and what, what, what it was ca- it was called Kinder Surprise. I overthought to the max. I made a song about chocolate and sweet. Do you know how mad that <laughs> I sent myself? I literally brown breaded myself. I don't know what's going on. Why, why, why did you why did you make a song about it? If I you know what it is? I was so because at that point we kind of so we we've now left our management. You were happy with that because I did I did yeah. hear there was like a lot of um, passer with mm-hmm. your not passer but things happening yeah. with the management. Um, just because I always have my ear to the streets yeah. and there was <laughs> things like you know they, they it was just too much and labels were getting put off because of management and things like that yeah, and bloody yeah. blah and they was a bit too involved with what was happening. So what what was what was the dynamic of that? What happened was is that obviously because wasn't. It, the manager kind of was like a third member at one point. Yeah, effectively, yeah. Which so is weird. It's, it's, with me saying it now is weird, but <laughs> at the time, because it was just what we was, li- so we're living in, we're living in an environment that's, his, well, obviously it's his house, you know what right, I mean? Right, so yeah. we're, 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 we all think collectively, do you right, get what okay, I'm saying? So right. it wasn't mad weird at the time, but after when people's explaining, saying how things are supposed to be running, but right, like, right, right. That's a bit mad. Right, okay. Do you get what I mean? And and that's not to say that he knew what was going on and he was moving snaky. Yeah, yeah, Obviously yeah. at the time I'm I'm a k I'm younger and I'm a bit more charged. So I'm mm-hmm, thinking, bro, mm-hmm. your waste, man. I'm I'm lashing out because yeah, I'm yeah, angry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And obviously at the time, I I was fine with me going through obviously I've gone through counselling now so I can break down this stuff. So me going through all of that, I was like, yo, I was trying to find someone to blame right, okay. for things falling off. Yeah, okay. Do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. When really and truly if I actually thought about it, no if if it, it's me, right. at the end of the day, I didn't know who I was, and that mm-hmm. was the mm-hmm. effective issue. So you feel like you know who you are now? I feel like I'm... How old are you now? I'm 25. And I'm oh my God. I'm 25, yeah. Wait, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how old are you if you don't want me to ask I'm 32. I'm going to be 33 next month, actually. So I'm a, I'm a big woman. Like, I like to oh, keep yeah, telling yeah. people, me motherfuckers that want to keep playing around with me. Sorry, I just... <laughs> that one was just us. I'm a big woman, you know. I'm a big woman for you, man. Anyway, so... um. Like, 20, you're still finding yourself though. I'm still finding myself yeah, at 33. Like, like 100. when I look back, I remember when I turned 25, I had like this mid quarter life crisis, right? And I, no, genuinely, and I would cry on the, I remember one oh, time wow. I broke down on the bus because I genuinely didn't know what I was doing with my life. I was like turning 25, I thought I was going to be Halle Berry, it wasn't happening and I was like, I went to drama school, did all of these things that I thought was going to like be, I was going to be this person. It wasn't happening, I was working in a job that I wasn't happy with really Mm. and I just didn't know what to do. And now when I look back at 33, because I'm still young, like the the thing is, even though socials will make you feel like you're getting older, even at 25, the way you're speaking is almost like you're hitting 40. Like (laughs) I found myself now and I've gone through all of these things. It's like, bro, you're still 25, like you still got all this time. To yeah, like live. I agree, I but agree. socials and so like the way the world is moving, it makes us all feel we're older than we actually are. Yeah, yeah, but when yeah, I look yeah. back at me at 25 as a 33 year old, I'm like, wow. Like I wish I just enjoyed my time as a 25 year old or a 23 year old or whatever. And it was, and I just lived in that moment. Do you get what yeah, I'm saying? Because you look real. back and you think, oh my god, I actually I didn't know who I was at 25, and I'm glad I didn't know who I was because I got to experiment i got to yeah, figure yeah, it out yeah, do definitely. different things okay mm. i traveled and i did all these different things so you still got loads of time yeah I believe loads so. and loads of time but it's so. good it's 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 refreshing to hear though somebody your age who is uh, emotionally mature enough to understand like they didn't know you didn't know who you was you was getting you went through because a lot of people especially in the industry and it's actually a lot of black men i would say they they don't openly talk about going to get um counseling or speaking to somebody it's yeah, kind I was of, one of them too, yeah, yeah but that's what i'm saying we we don't we don't talk about it and also a lot of musicians as well they don't actually talk about it they don't talk about how hard it is like the transitioning or you know when you're trying to make that hit or make that repeat something that's happened again and how much pressure that has on 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 your mentor so i definitely commend you for that but you're still young you're still so so you, you did that you did the count you did the counseling sorry go on yeah so um what was that yeah i did the counseling yeah, yeah, yeah. and um through that obviously i realized that um so this is so the, well to answer your question you, um um i don't i know i'm not at my full potential 110 right, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't even think 
the question is like, what is our full potential? We'll never know. Yeah. I feel like life just keeps moving. So oh, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it could change tomorrow. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Do you, do you ever get worried about um, matching the success of Lotto Boys as an independent person? Um, yeah, 100%. Yeah. And I re oh, that's something else I realised recently. Because like, when I look at like the views I'm getting now, I'm thinking, wow, like, nobody knows me no more. Right, you know right. what I mean? But then at that, at that point, I'm thinking, well, the way I look at life, is, if it's happened, it's meant to. Do you know what I mean? And there's a reason in this. So I just took it as maybe I need to be humble. Do you get me? Mm. So I thought, okay, I'll take that as a humble one. Mm. And I feel like maybe I generally need to start again and actually go up, which I don't mind now. Right, right, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I'm not... At the moment, yeah, don't get me, I'm not going to act like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I've yeah, overcome yeah. that, yeah, da, da, da. yo, I'm still yeah. looking at them yeah, yeah. in front. I think, do you know what, I, I don't know anyone that doesn't, like, even mm. me, <laughs> like, you know, even how, like, you know, um, you know, my views or my interviews, maybe not as what they were before, they still good and whatever, but I, you know, the, you always, you're always going to compare. Yeah, always. And I think also, I think, like you said, you kind of, because this whole thing is about numbers. Like, everyone tries to pretend like it's not about numbers, but it's about numbers. It's about numbers. Everyone looks at the numbers. Everyone's like, oh, okay, da da da, da. Oh, wow, is that what's happening? Even, like, just on Insta. Like, I remember one time I put a picture up and someone was like, oh, wow, you only got a 1,000 likes and three comments. That's unusual for you, ZZ. And I was just like, ew. Like, why could you even say this to me? But it's so mad how people just yeah. watch everything. And it does. It does have a pressure on you, but... One thing that I've learned, I think, um, I think you get to see who like your true following is when you're when the dust settles. If that makes sense, do you yeah. get what I mean? Like yeah. when all the hype is gone and everyone is kind of like off of the, oh, you know, ZZ Mills or Lotto Ash and all that thing. The people that really really fuck with you, they will really really always fuck with you. True. And I think that's the and that's how you build actually like a core audience. Do you get oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like. Yeah. Um, like you have people that will always have their core audience and they will always, 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 always do well. Do you get what I'm saying? And I would always prefer to be that than to be like a person that goes viral and then no one ever cares about you after. Do you get what I'm saying? So I, I wouldn't say don't, um, don't worry about that, but you obviously are going to worry about it because it's just, it's just being a, a human being, yeah, I guess. Yeah. But how do you, how do you cope with that? Do you just like not look at the stuff or do you um, just not bother wait, bothered, bothered about it? Like you just find coping mechanisms. I kind of heavy, but yeah. I've kinda, I basically started other businesses. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what, what, that, what were those? So I'm working on um, an NFT at the moment. I'm okay. making my own NFT. What, what's, okay. Yeah, the whole explain. NFT thing because yeah, yeah. like Rick Ross the other day was getting so excited because yeah, yeah. they had all apparently it's all collapsed or what was what is are these yeah. actually go on tell me educate so, me a little basically, bit basically what um where do I even start so NFT is basically like sellable digital art yeah yeah, do you yeah, know yeah. What I mean mm -hmm. so if you know like paintings like Van Gogh and, right, and stuff yeah, there yeah, and yeah. how much the price is flying right and then the same way I used to look at them thinking why the hell is this yeah 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 forty five million or 600 million pounds, do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's because of the value behind it, because that person has, do you know what I mean? Okay, right. So value's being placed behind these pictures that has now given the picture value. Okay, right. Do you get okay. what I mean? Okay, yeah. So then now people are buying, not just pictures, they're buying the assets that come with the pictures. Okay. For example, Board Ape is one of like the main ones. Right, right, if right. you get a Board Ape like Yacht Club, you're part of the Yacht Club. So you can go to any of the yacht parties, um, which is like, has like, Loads of celebrities are bought into it, which means that, say for example, I've got a board eight now, yeah, right. and Tory Lanez also has a board eight. When I go to the yacht club parties, we're the same. Right, okay. We're the same, and my board eight might even be better than Tory Lanez's. So what's, wait, what's a board eight? A board ape is like it's board an ape. ape. I ape. said board eight. Board eight. It's my accent. Sorry. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's not. I just I don't understand. So board ape. Board ape. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So what is that? So it's basically it's an ape with you've definitely seen it. If I show you one, like you've definitely seen it. It's like it's like an ape with like different like um, pictures on the it's like, it's like hats, different eye color, but it's loads of different apes. Do you get what I mean? So if you have a board ape. What bathing ape? Nah, nah, nah. This one's <laughs> board ape. Board yeah, because ape. I'm like the, with the, all the apes. It's they've got the apes. On I was it. like this as well because I didn't. I thought to myself, well, how can you be selling me a chimpanzee ape thing for, for example, like three hundred thousand k? You buy. So is it a real ape? No, it's just a picture. 
A picture of an ape. I know it sounds hard to understand. And it sounds like a you, scam. And then they bring you into the club because you got the picture of the yeah, ape. Yeah. So, but what you get from that is, it's oh, like. Come on, this is the ginnels. This has to it's, be. It sounds like it, but it's, I don't think it is. So, have you gone to any of the yacht parties yet? No, no, no. But my my friend is flying out um, Sunday to go to the um, the fest, the, the ape fest. So, why are you not going? I'm. I, I'm, I've got too much to do. I've got an EP to finish in it as well. But then maybe if you go to the board ape party, then you would have. You might get a feature. You never know. Probably, but he will, he will do that for me. Like it's him. Oh, it's him. So I, oh. my team is going out there. So it's me and okay, the rest yeah. of my te- the rest of my team. I need to look into this. Yeah, board there's two ape. of there's two of us that are going out there. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. So that, so this is one of your that's one of the stuff I'm okay, doing. Cool. Um, and then also obviously I've invested in crypto as well. Okay, right, right. Obviously right. that one's sketchy, but like I've invested enough to do the NFT stuff. So basically, you you just find other things to do to kind of keep your mind off of it and it's not just the, the to, to do with the, the the music so you've got a new ep coming out mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it's called seven what can we expect from this ep like what have we fe- are you gonna have features you're saying you're trying to bring it out quite quickly like it's go and talk to me about it all. um so seven um so it's seven songs yeah, yeah. and basically it's it's in a nutshell of it's like the transition between what I've gone through okay. um, to to now. Okay. So like six of the songs are basically like songs that are me showcasing like what I have to offer okay. for linking onto the next like projects and stuff. Which and what would you say your sound is? Cause you when see, I, I don't know, you know. So when I because when I googled, they first of all they refer to as R and B. Then it was Afrobean, which I didn't even know was a thing, okay, um, because, was, well, I did, but it was just, I didn't even know they still used that, so then it was Afrobean, so what, then you, you said you was a rapper before, then, then you said you sing as well, so what would you say, how would you describe your sound? I don't know, I'm going to be honest, I, right. I literally don't know, because I just love music in it, okay. so I can, because I write as well, yeah, I yeah, kind yeah. of write for a lot of other people, so I write for R&B singers, okay, nice. I write for, oh, that's another... Thing that I do as well. So I write for R&B singers. I write for pop acts. Any songs um, we know? That um, you've written? I don't know if I can disclose. I don't think I can disclose. Oh, you can't. Yeah, it's okay, all it's, yeah. Basically, all the songs we're singing on the radio. Lot of acts, <laughs> basically, lot no, of, no, no. Of, you know, <laughs> sang all of them. Makaili Minogue. Imagine if you you had like written a. Kind, someone else said someone. I think it was. Oh, I can't remember. We did, yeah. I did an interview for uh, Plus or Four, and they was. I think it was Koji actually. He said he written for somebody, and we was like, "Oh shit, we didn't know you that you had written right. that song." So I think I, if yeah, I remember Koji's correctly, I yeah. think so. Yeah, but go on. What did you um, do? So right, so right, and so I think, so I was effectively gonna do the Rihanna project that never came out. Oh. So I was. I worked on that with um, Camille Purcell. Okay, right. Which is one of the best. So, wow. and. Obviously, it's never come out, it's just one of them ones. But my bag, that kind of made me feel like, yo, I should get into this. And that's right, what made right. me actually get, okay, get into nice, it. Because Camille nice, was nice. like, yo, do you want to write something on this? I was like, rah, I didn't know I could do this. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't yeah, ever yeah. think of it. Yeah, that's yeah, writing yeah. for myself. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, um, that's another thing that I'm doing. But through, through the whole writing situation and like, I kind of I kinda don't even know where to place myself. I don't even want to. I don't even want to box myself slightly. That's it, yeah. I, I I was gonna say that. I guess the beauty with that is that you can do what you want, and then people kind of. Because I think what happens as well, people then, like you do something, and then you do something different. It's like, yeah, but you never done that before, and then, then mm. you, it's like you have to kind of stick to that. Yeah. But how was it going? So uh, before we to so the EP, the sound, yeah. You is there gonna be seven songs on the EP? So there's seven songs, and then obviously there's gonna be. So I haven't gone into like full on detail okay. of what. Obviously, the whole lot of boy situation is, yeah, but yeah, I've yeah. put a song on there that explains it all. Okay. So and that, what's that song called? That one's called On My Own. On, on Your Own? Yeah. On My Own. But there's no bad blood between you. Nah, and... so I think, basically, at the start there was, I'll be honest, like, yeah. it, was, it was hectic, you get me, between, obviously, me, him, and obviously, whoever his yeah. peoples were. But um, it's, it's okay now, and I feel like we, we hashed it out over right. the phone. Mm-hmm. Um, I felt proper, like, led to, like, phone him one time yeah. um, and just like just hash it out do you get what I mean and he was he was agreeing to everything and he was like yeah man let's just obviously we can do our own thing and just at least make our own selves happy so do you, do you I mean? so, like 
so are you both allowed to keep the name Lotto in front of you <laughs> of each other? Yeah. Like, because then it kind of because it kind of. But kinda, do, you, but do you worry then because you keep the name the the Lotto bit that you'll always be attached to mm. Lotto boys and you will never be your individual thing instead of just calling yourself Ash. This is actually a current battle I'm facing right now, isn't okay, it? So I'm even trying to yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Sing, I'm sing. even trying to. Not not in a rude way, but I'm trying to like get rid of the lotto from my name. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, okay, right. Just I, I think that would make sense, yeah. especially you saying that you're you're starting from the beginning yeah, and you're yeah, building yeah. from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Then I, I I would I would think that would make sense, and I think if you wanna like that was a part of your journey, you wanna park that there, and you remember it for the, what it was and whatever, then. I would, I would say it would make sense to drop the lotto. Yeah, yeah. Personally, I, think, yeah, I, would, yeah. I would think that. I think so as well. Do you get what I mean? hundred percent. Talk to me though about what it was like um, growing up in Birmingham. Because I said to you earlier, I was like, oh, you do live in London. And you was like, absolutely. It's, too, it's not, absolutely not. It's way too fast here. No? Yeah, I can't still. Um, I think Birmingham, I don't know. I think because I've grow, grown up there. Yeah. Grown up, grew up there. I, whichever way, show yes, English. I say everything wrong on this show. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah. I'll, you know, I, used to, I say this to make everyone feel good. I, was, I used to call H Attich for about three years. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? I used to call him Attich because I just don't understand where does the H come from? Why is there not? I don't get where this, like, where? You know what it is? You look proper vexed though. You're like, but Where does the H? Is it only me? I cannot be the only person. Where's the H in that A T A I T C H word well, at the end? H. But yeah, but wait, do you think doesn't it look like Attich? I I I can't. I follow. I, I get it. Don't make yourself look dumb just to agree with me. <laughs> Don't do it. Too. <laughs> <laughs> and it suddenly started rubbing the eye. Yeah, yeah, like, mm, I don't know about this one. I used to call it Attic, So whatever, you, whatever you want to say, it's all free game. Oh, like cool. So you uh, you grew up in Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll I will kind of. My, I don't know. It was, it was so. It was calm for me. Right, right. Obviously, a lot was going on, and obviously, I live, I, I live in the hood, and it's so like a lot was going on, loads of speculation, whatever. But it, like, it's a lot slower than here, and the distance. This is my thing. Go on. The distances. So I used to travel when I used to go to my ex's house. Right. She even used to live outside of Brum, and right. I used to travel 19 miles, and it only used to be 25 minutes. Right. It's not long to get from London to Birmingham. It's on not, but once, once I'm here, on a train, yeah. yeah. So this, but once I get here, I can't move around with, 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 like fast as I would want to. So oh. I'll have to drive here. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? But when I get here, my issue is, is that everything is long. So the 19 miles that I was driving in Brum is 25 minutes, yeah. Oh, you're Three miles here is 25 minutes. I yeah. couldn't fathom it. Because it's very, a lot of people, there's a lot of people in London <sighs> in, at the moment. There's a lot of us. Oh, jeez. Even Uber, it's a joke. Yeah. You can't even get an Uber these days or a Bolt or whatever these free car thingies are. <laughs> yeah. You can't get them. There's, I, I, understand, I get what you mean. But don't you feel like for music and everything, you're better off down here? Do you, or do you, because David Sideman, he always used to say like his accent used to be the thing that everyone used to get onto him about. And he's yeah. like, you know, he's happy that he's managed to break through with the accent. But have you ever felt like being from Birmingham has uh, like b made it me, difficult like, for you, yeah, hindered you? I, I used to have it in the back of my mind. Right. Do you get me? But I feel like that's kind of like something that I think that's an insecurity that kind of builds right, up. Right, okay. Because cool. I always used to think, I used to blame it on Birmingham, but really and truly, it's just that they haven't heard the song yet. Right, okay. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Because I used to be like, rah, like, no one's rating our thing, rah, rah, rah. and all of a sudden, like, London rated us first, and then Brum rated us. Really? That was, okay, yeah. That was another thing that as well, I was okay. just like, okay, cool, but I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And from, because obviously we had, diff, we're coming from a whole different place. Yeah. Which people, and I was glad that people didn't know when we first dropped like Hit List and Bad Girl. Right, okay. They didn't know. That's why we dropped the whole song Birmingham to let people know that, yo, that, yeah, I'm like, actually proud to be from Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So when we dropped that, everyone was like, what? These did guys you, are from Did there. you see a shift when people found out or no? Um, you know what, now that you say it, kind of. Like you, you did? I think they rated us more. Oh, okay, in right. In a sense, I think there was just like, rah, you got from Brum and you sound like, like right, us okay. basically. That's yeah, what yeah, the London yeah, I'm yeah, saying, yeah. so. Yeah, I think I think they kind of just rated us a bit more. So who have you? How, who are you like loving at the moment? Like, what type of music are you listening to? What do you play in the shower? Mm -hmm. 
just listen to gospel music. I love gospel music. Yeah, by the way. yeah, a lot. I, like, I listen to a lot of gospel. Okay. But obviously, on, but I like drill also. You get what I mean? So, you, what, you, what about go- drill gospel? Is that a thing? Yeah. Um, I've heard a few, Jesus. but I'm not. I haven't really. I haven't gone and played any. So, um, what would that be like? Jesus, 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 Jesus. <laughs> Come to go- my ends and Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. <okay. laughs> That's what it would be like. I feel that though. You man don't know Jesus but will I come think... lick off your head. I don't oh need nothing to do. God strike me down right now. Right like now. something like, not obviously like that. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I mean? That's what it would be. I'll get you, I'll get you. I think, um, I, th- I, I think I first heard gospel drill was when them guys from Spat Nation were doing oh, it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they're shut down now. Did you hear that? I didn't know they that. Shut their thing. They've been shut down because they haven't paid their taxes. Bro. Yeah, one million or something ridiculous like that. Yeah. Sound that was gonna happen. Mind my own. <laughs> <laughs> Mind my own business. Man. But um yeah, so I think I think what was we talking about again? What music you listen to? Oh yeah, so um in the in the shower I listen to a lot of gospel. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how I set my day. Okay, man. Nice. What's your what's your favorite who's your favourite gospel artist? Mm, I kinda go on the I don't know, I think it's tribal, but it's T R T R B L. Okay. It's on YouTube. They have just loads of different artists okay. coming together and then nice, singing. Nice, nice. So I literally just put a mix on there. Kurt Franklin is always. St- I know it, that's like such a obvious one, but I think Kurt Franklin is still like top tier. And yeah, I, yeah. I, I would. I was actually looking at dates the other day because I would love to go see him in concert, but he's not like coming here. So I was like, if I can go to America to kind of see him, like, I would love because I grew up in the church. Like I said, I went to KICC. So back in the day they used to bring Kurt Franklin over all the time. Like, it was a thing, like, watch night, we would bring Kurt Franklin over, I would have a big, it would be a big concert. But I think he's so, I think he's still um, amazing. So do you sing in, like, your church choir and all that I kind play of stuff? piano, you know. Oh, okay, nice, yeah, nice, yeah. nice. So, like, I still play piano to this day. Okay, like, I will, So I go, I go back every, so I'll be here for the whole week. Yeah. And I'll go back every Sunday and then play piano, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> You're probably, like, nice guy. Do you I would like to hope so. About you? Huh? Do you think people know this about you? Nah, I like don't think like they do. A, like a... I think people think I'm a snob. Right, right. Obviously, you're coming from songs like You Ain't Making Money Like Me, that sounds <laughs> a lot snobbish, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think when people do meet me, I, <laughs> it's so funny, like, I think when I checked into my hotel, um, one of the guys recognised me, yeah, right. and he was putting on this big, like, and I was like, I had to, sk- I was like, yo, bro, how you doing, man? Yeah, and he was just like, good, bro. <laughs> I was thinking, I did. I was thinking, did I do something yeah, in my yeah, yeah, pastime? Yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. so then I tried to make conversation with him, and then I, and then he was like, you know what, bro, you actually alright, you know? I was thinking, you judge me in it. Yeah, he's like, yeah, obviously because of the the like yeah, the, yeah. obviously you do music in it, so I'm kind of stereotyping you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, bro, that, at least you're honest, you know me, but. But I yeah. think, um, no, you, you seem like a, because I've not really, I don't think I've seen you out, I've seen quite a few people out, but I don't think I've seen you out that much in yeah, like different really. like events or anything like that. So I've not like had interaction with you up until this point. And um, no, I think that you're still, everyone's still young. Yeah, and yeah, I would true. just say, make sure you like, like you said, stay true to yourself and, and, and that's all I, I would I would say, but I've really I've really enjoyed it. It's been it's gone so quick. They're telling me like yeah, this, yeah, and I'm just yeah, like, yeah. oh my god. They were, early, they were like thirty five minutes. It was like oh thirty five minutes is quite quite um, long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But times. no, like so. Mm-hmm. Tell the people EP when it's dropping, where they can find you, all that good stuff, and uh, yeah. Um, so it's Lotto Ash. You can find me on Instagram and whatever socials. Literally just the name Lotto Ash. Um, the EP is coming very, very, very soon. I don't even want to give a date yet because we're having some technical difficulties. <laughs> but you know how it goes. But, but something if, to do with the seven. Something yeah. to do with the seventh. July, that's when I'm born. So any day in July. What day? July the 30th. You can drop it on my birthday if you 27th. want. 27th? Oh my God, you're Leo. You're 27th. Oh my God, that's why we get along. That's why you've got that. good energy. I feel that, I feel that. 27th, 30th. We're the best, you know. I feel that, you know. We are actually... Do you not think that August Leos are a bit different to us? Oh my God, I do. I do. <laughs> Somebody's offended. <laughs> I do think they are a little bit different. And they're different types of Leos as well, you know. I'm yeah. like a quiet Leo. Like, I can be loud. Like, I can go into a dance mm-hmm. and be like... But I also yeah. can just be in the corner. Reserve. And I think a lot of people always think Leos have to be like the centre of attention at every always given moment. Yeah. And I'm not like that. I do like attention. Like, yeah. I love attention. I need a lot of attention. 
<laughs> ample amounts of it. Like, I, like honestly, probably an unhealthy amount of attention from whoever's in my life. Like, my poor mum, like, she gets calls on a date. Like, if my wow. mum doesn't pick up the phone to me within, like, half an hour... Then you don't love me no more. She does, I'm like, I don't understand what else you're doing with your life. Okay. Like, what's happening here? That's, that's Do you know fair. what I mean? Um, yeah, that's that's me. But Leo, see, Leo gang, spud me if you can reach. We'll do a virtual one. Anyway, so we're just having a moment here because he's the 27th. Now, why didn't you release it on your birthday? You know what? I might have to. This is the thing. You should release it on your birthday. Or my birthday, it's fine. Either or. Either or is perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you know. Okay. If it's on my birthday, then I'll just, I'll do mad retweets. <laughs> I'll do yeah, mad retweets. Okay. I'll be like, look, Ash did this for my birthday. This say is no more, this, say this, no this more. is a, this is the EP, and there, there we go. Boom, there we go. <laughs> anyway, guys, you know what to do: like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mum, tell your dad. We out, Leo. Guys. Face.